Hi, I am Dr. Rudy Merck, uh, CEO of Valenza, and I'm here today to talk about omega-3s and ALA, EPA, and DHA products. And there's some exciting things happening here that I want to tell you about. Now, everybody knows that uh, omega-3s are good for you, but there are essentially three different kinds of omega-3s. These include EPA, DHA, which are long-chain omega-3s, but there's also ALA, which is a plant-based omega-3 that has a shorter chain. And let's start with EPA and DHA. EPA and DHA are very important fatty acids, but they are not essential and vital for your health. They are good to supplement with, and they have function in the body because, for instance, 30% of your brain dry mass is made out of DHA, so you've got to get that from somewhere. Where do you get it from? You can get it from eating fish. You can get it from eating grains and nuts and things like that because ALA, to some extent, is converted to EPA and DHA. And you can get it from things like supplements, like fish oil supplements or krill oil supplements, but also ALA supplements like flax oil, perilla oil, and chia oil. Now, your body needs ALA. The FDA Institute of Med Medicine has said that it's a necessary and essential fatty acid. What does that mean? If you don't have it in your diet, you will die. Now, thank God we have it in our diet and we're getting a lot of things with it in the diet that are not so good, but you get it from eating bread, you get it from eating uh, Swiss cheese, has a lot of grass-fed uh, uh, fat in it, uh, and that's ALA. Uh, you get it from a number of cereals, cereal grains, grass-fed beef, etc. But ALA does convert to EPA and DHA, and this is well documented. Let's talk about uh, the normal human diet and the amount of oils in the diet and what kinds of oils. Normally, in America, we have an epidemic of too much omega-6 in our diets, and this causes inflammation. People are eating too much LA, linolenic acid, omega-6, because processed food always uses LA or omega-6 because it's fairly stable. You can make your Twinkies using, a, uh, using LA omega-6, and they can sit on the shelf for about two months before anything happens to them. The Western diet today, and especially the American diet or the European diet, is typically 24 to 25, sometimes as high as 30 to 1, omega-6 to omega-3, and that is just plain dangerous because that much omega-6 in a diet causes inflammation. It causes an increase in C-reactive protein, one of the beautiful indicators of the fact that you're going to have a heart attack. It increases inflammation in joints. It, inc it increases low-grade inflammation in the body. We know that. It can be measured. What we don't know is to what other chronic diseases this leads to. So the idea is to take this ratio of 24 to 1 and some vegans and vegetarians probably have ratios of 10 or 12 to 1, and reduce it to a level that I am recommending 8 omega-6s to 1 omega-3, or 10 at the worst, 10. And that way, uh, people will have a much lower level of chronic inflammation or no inflammation at all. Valencia has come out with a new line of products that uh, I think is kind of interesting, and I'll describe them to you. Uh, the first product I want to talk about is Perilla. Now, Perilla, we have made Perilla oil, which we call Verilla. We have made a Perilla krill oil combination, which we call Kirilla. And we have made a product that is after extracting most of the oil from Perilla, the, the product that remains is a fiber protein product that is very high in protein, 45%, very high in 
insoluble fiber, which I'll talk about in a minute. And this product is called Varilla Max. And it's, it's obviously a co-product in making uh, Varilla oil. So the first product is Varilla, which is the highest ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 on the planet, 6 to 1. With Varilla, we, we have a product that's very stable. We have its O2B peroxidation blocking system, which consists of extracts of rosemary, olive fruit, vitamin E, and other spices to help stabilize it. We can give two years of stability compared to expeller press flax oil, which might have a stability of 30 days. The next product is a product that I'm, that I'm most excited about because it's the first product that really gets rid of all this noise, the fish people versus the krill people versus the flax oil people. And this product is the right omega-3 for people, period, because it's a combination of ochre krill oil along with added astaxanthin that Valencia extracts along with perla oil and it is a combination which gives you immediate DHA and EPA that is super absorbed, much better than fish oil absorption. Immediately when you take it, no burp back, no fishy taste. Combined with ALA, which slowly converts to EPA, DHA for anti-inflammatory effects and on as an as-needed basis by your body. Your body knows when it needs to make EPA and DHA, the omega-3 ALA from Perilla will be there to help the body make the product it needs. But more importantly, ALA, the ALA in Perilla, in Varilla, is anti-inflammatory. It competes with the enzymes that omega-6s go into what is called the inflammatory cascade. And ALA, all by itself, without EPA, without DHA breaks up that cascade and reduces chronic inflammation in the body. And as we said before, chronic inflammation can lead to all kinds of problems like heart attacks, joint health, etc. The next product is Varilla Max, which is the co-product that comes out of the extraction process where we take perilla seeds, crack them, use add antioxidants then use supercritical liquid carbon dioxide to extract out the oil. Some of the oil is left inside. It's still very bioavailable. And that product is 45% protein, very good protein, and has a very high fiber content of th over 30%. And it's mostly insoluble fiber. Why is that important? Insoluble fiber helps with moisture in your gut. It helps with softening of the stool. It also does not ferment in the colon, whereas soluble fibers like psyllium, if you take too much of psyllium, you're gonna have problems. You have gassing and bloating, and fermentation in the colon is probably not a good idea and can lead to disease. The next product I wanna talk about is called Z Omega 369, and what is that? Well, I, I finished talking about Varilla, which is an important omega-3 source that is very high in omega-3 with a very high ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 of 6 to 1. And what we've done is we've packed some of that into Z omega-369, but also added extracts of olive fruit and also our O2B package to make a product that supplies all the omegas uh, that your body needs. Now, omega-6s are also important in your, in, for bodily function, but in this particular formula, Z omega-369, the amount of omega-6 is quite low. Three is very high, and the omega-9 is a reasonable level. So we think that that's a very good product, and if you have a diet in which you think that the 369s are important, this is an excellent product. Our O2B peroxidation blocker system also contains a small amount of astaxanthin. It also contains extracts of, uh, of uh, olive and rosemary to help stabilize this product. And this is a very convenient, small, 
uh, soft shell that uh, does not go rancid, has a shelf life of about two years, and I think you'll be very, very pleased with that. That is the program, and that is a real interesting thing. What do I recommend? I recommend the Corilla product because it has everything in one, and it is a supplement. You're not taking this instead of the healthy food you should be eating or getting exercise. You should be eating fish. You should be eating healthy food. You should be eating nuts and legumes and things like that. And this is just simply a supplement to what you're eating. And uh, we think that that's uh, a really a great way to go.